This is a fact that acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of the earth. Mathematically, it can be written like this. Acceleration due to gravity, which is denoted by small g, is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth, r, r is, is radius of the earth. Now, how, how can we prove this? Look at this is, let's say, earth. And a body is lying on a surface, this. Mass of earth is if taken as capital M and the body lying on its surface, its mass is taken as a small m, then the radius is if taken as capital R. We can write all this, let mass of the earth is equal to capital M. Mass of a body which is lying on the surface of the earth which is comparatively very less mass which is taken as small m and radius of earth radius of earth it is denoted by capital R now acceleration due to gravity is small g according to according to Newton's law of gravitation now I want to recall Newton's law of gravitation what we did uh, when we were learning about the Newton's law of gravitation we proved an equation f equal to f is equal to z m1 m2 by d squared and it was proved in such a way that two masses, let's say this is a body having mass m1, this is another body having mass m2, and if they are separated by a distance d, then gravitational force between them, f, can be given as f equal to capital G m1 m2 by d square. It was derived with the help of Newton's law of gravitation. After this much recall, now I want to match this in this case also. The gravitation force between Earth and this small mass, which is also gravitation force F. And this F is equal to, the gravitational constant remains same, capital G. So instead of mass of first body M1, mass of first body we can take capital M of the Earth. And mass of second body here it is M2. But here mass of second body is a small mass lying on the surface of the earth which is small m. Here the distance between them is taken as d. But in this case distance between these, these two masses is capital R. That's why instead of d square we are writing r square. This way according to Newton's law of gravitation the gravitation force between this earth and a body lying on its surface can be written as f equal to z capital m small m by r square and it is equation number one according to again i am writing something more than this according to newton's second law second law of motion according to Newton's second law of motion we know that the gravitational force F in this case we are taking gravitation force F is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity in Newton's second law of motion we have we wrote that this way F equal to M into A but instead of A I am writing here Z because this force is gravity force and acceleration is not normal acceleration it is acceleration due to gravity that's why instead of f equal to ma i'm writing f equal to mg this is equation number two combining equation one and two or we can say comparing equation one and two comparing comparing equation one and two what we get when we compare f equal to this, f equal to this means mg is equal to capital G capital M small m by r square. Here 
mass cancel each other now remaining is G is equal to capital G capital M by R square now all of we know that this acceleration due to gravity at pole at equator and at other place is varying not because of the mass of the earth because mass of the earth remains same whether the body is dropped at pole or dropped at equator or dropped at the top of the mountain or dropped at the bottom of the mountain mass of the earth remains same and this capital G gravitational course constant also remains same that's why these two are the constant which doesn't affect this small g but only one factor affects the small g that is radius of the earth because radius of the earth is different in different parts of the earth that's why we can say that but capital G and capital M are constant that's why we are going to remove this two and this z is a constant when constant is removed then this equal to sign converts to proportional sign because constant comes in this mathematical relation when proportional sign is removed by is equal to sign that's why what i'm writing here now g is pro proportional to r square and this is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth because radius is in denominator this way what is proved what is proved acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth